going on? It's Allison. For this workout, we're doing a 45 minute advanced hit session. All you need is your TerraCore and a moderate and heavy pair of dumbbells. For this workout, we're combining traditional Tabata style with hit. Blocks one and two will be Tabata and only contain two exercises each. 20 seconds on and a short 10 second rest and we'll repeat it eight times. Blocks three to five will be hit style. 30 seconds on and a longer 20 second rest in between and repeat each one of those blocks two times. This workout is the most advanced of the TerraCore 30 starter challenge. Definitely bump it up a notch if you can or if you need to modify the moves, you can do that as well. So grab your equipment and some water and let's get started. Let's begin with the warm up. March it out right behind that TerraCore. All right, keeping the abs tight, inhale, reach up. Exhale through the mouth, let it out. Good, do it again. Inhale, reach, making each swoop a little bit bigger. Two more, lift up. Exhale, one more time. And march out right behind that TerraCore, pumping the arms, abs are tight, spine is long. Okay, when you're ready, get used to that dome, tap the toe. Tap, out of your chest press as an option. Getting the upper body going too. Same legs, reach overhead. Reach and pull. Think about driving those elbows down to the side, squeezing the back. You've got it. Eight more, eight. Seven, there's six. We're gonna keep that same toe tap and back to a chest press. Out and in. Very nice. We're gonna add a little bit of direction to this tap. Tap corner, corner. Tap, tap, good. Take it at your own pace. You've got it. Back to that overhead reach. Keeping the diagonal taps. Looking good. And back to a chest press. Chest press. Tap back in the center. Now we're staying on the floor. Step, touch, bicep curls. Step, step. So you're going about the width of your TerraCore. Bending the knees, heels are down. Make it bigger. Perfect. All right, coming up, we're gonna do some hamstring curls. So step, curl, curl. Dropping the hips down, doing a quarter or half squat in between. There's eight, seven, six. All right, here's your change. We're gonna double it up for two. Two on the right, two on the left. Do it again, take it up. You have four more doubles. Four, three, there's two, outer thighs here. Step, outer, outer, good. Warming up those outer thighs, those abductors, and the glutes. Perfect. Eight more, eight, seven, six. Here's four, three, now inner thigh lifts. Pull down, reach towards the heel. If you can't touch the heel, that's all right. Do the best you can. Standing tall, long lever with the arms. You've got it. Here's four, three, knee lifts up and down, reach and pull. Boom. Yes. Think about keeping the abs tight, driving the knees up to the chest. Whew, eight more. Heart rate should be coming up. Last four, three, tap the toes wide, hands on the hips. All right, stay here. Out of reach overhead. Lift, lift. Very nice. And reach the arm in front, press up, lift. Keeping that swooping motion. Plant the feet, lunge side to side, add a low arm swing. Get a nice inner thigh stretch. Four, three, two. Hold it in the center, hands on the quads, walk the feet in, slow flat back. Run up halfway, dip one shoulder in, look over the other. And a nice low back stretch. Take some breaths in and out. And release, other side, dip that shoulder in. Good. Center up, flat back down, round all the way up, one vertebrae at a time, head and shoulders last. Three big shoulder rolls back. And three forward, up and around. Inhale, big reach up to the ceiling. Exhale, down one more time. Up, feet together, on the toes, reach. And let it out. Grab a drink, grab your equipment, and let's get ready for block number one. Here are your team moves for block number one. 
Remember, this is Tabata style. So we're only doing two exercises, 20 seconds on with a short 10 second rest and repeating it eight times. Okay, so for the first one, grab your moderate pair of weights and go behind the terracor. We're doing an alternating knee lift with overhead press. So palms are facing in, right away we're gonna work on that dynamic surface. So keep the abs tight and the spine long. Step in the middle of that terracor, drive the arms up, bring the knee up, down, down, switch, other side, up, knee down. Once you do the first couple, get that rhythm and focus on the balance. For the second exercise, we'll put these down and we're gonna do pulsing squats up and over. So inside foot on the terracore, we're gonna pulse for three. One, two, three, power over the top, lay with soft feet, soft knees, pulse for three, two, one, and then do it again. Okay, let's get ready for that first move. Alternating knee lifts with an overhead press. We're starting in about six seconds. So bring those arms up, palms in, abs are tight. Three, two, one, here we go. Step knee, down, down. Think about making two holes up in your ceiling. Nice and forceful with the arms. When it comes to the lower body, abs are tight. Knee comes all the way up to the chest, standing tall. Whew. This time goes quick, and it's quick transitions in between. Good. And stop, place it down, short 10 seconds, pulsing up and overs. Get that inside foot ready. Ready, set, and let's go. Pulse three, two, one, pop over. Two, one. Land with soft feet, soft knees, hips are back. Heart rate's gonna come up pretty quickly here. Whew. Two, one, over. Good, stay with it, stay with it. Breathe and stop. Okay, set number two. Back to those weights. Step knee overhead press. Ready, set, let's go. Each set is going to build up on each other. Whew. So what may have felt easy in the beginning is gonna feel more challenging with each round. Come on, keep it moving, keep it strong. Breathe. You're doing great. And stop, weights down. Pulsing up and overs. Told you to go super quick. Inside foot on, let's go. Three, two, one, pop it over. Soft feet, soft knees. Toes are facing forward. Woo, yes. Keep it up, keep it up. Come on, after this one, we're halfway through. Block number one. Good job. And stop, walk it out. Grab those weights. We're already starting in five seconds. Woo. Arms up, let's go. Step knee down, down. Step knee down, down. Tummy tight, knees up. Strong all the way through. Yes. Keep it going, keep it going. If you ever need to modify, do alternating arms. March it out on the floor and then get right back to it. Stop, pulsing overs. I'm gonna start on this side this time. Inside foot on, three, two, one, go. Pulse, and over, three, two, one. Pop it up, very nice. Can you get lower this round? You only have one more set of each after this. Make it count, breathe, and up. Good. Stay there. Stop. Final round already. Get those weights. Step knee, overhead press. Arms up, abs tight. Let's do it. Woo. Last set already. Come on, press. You've made it this far. Keep it going. Down, up. Woo. Yes. Come on, fight to the end. Breathe, stop. Weights down, final set, pulsing up and overs. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Pulse, pop over. Two, one, over. Yeah. Come on, this is it, strongest set yet. You get a drink break after this, and then just one more Tabata session. Woo. Good work. And stop. Great job. Grab a drink. We're on a block number two of Tabata. Here are your exercises.
exercises for block number two and your final Tabata session. We're gonna go ahead and grab your moderate weight and do out of thigh straddles with tricep extensions. So starting here, start in the straddle position um, around your terracore, bring those arms up. Inside foot, we step on, extend the arms, extend the leg, down, down, other side. Think about keeping those heels on the ground, sinking back low, knees are bent, arms are strong. Second move, you get to put those weights down and we're gonna do a quick tap up and over. And what this is gonna look like is we're gonna keep the bench narrow, inside foot on, and we go over, over. So once you have this rhythm, think of just doing a little lift and back on um, with that inside foot on top of the dome. Let's get ready for that first exercise. Grab your weight to begin in a straddle position. Remember, we're doing out of thigh straddles with a tricep extension. Okay, do your upright row, bend the knees in three, two, one. Let's do it. So sink low. Once you have the rhythm, focus on the form. Get lower with that straddle squat. And really fully extend those arms. Woo! Breathe. This one is not as much for speed, but for form. And stop, weights down but close by. All right, quick taps over. Now this one is for speed, but just be careful on that dome. Let's go. Tap, tap. So you're staying light on those feet, although you're still making sure the heels touch the ground. Good, down, pop. Woo, this one's pretty fun. Get a little air in your step. Very nice. Finish it. And stop. Grab those weights. Set two. Take a breath. Go straddle. Upright row. Let's do it. Step outer. Step outer. I love Tabata. I love 20 seconds. It goes quick. Woo. And yes, even though the recovery is not long, it's done before you even know it. Come on. Breathe. Woo. Fight through. Stop, weights down, quick overs. Inside foot, three, two, one, knock it out. Up, lighten the feet. Take this as fast or slow as you like. You can even make it a bigger movement. Notice I'm gonna bend lower on this. Now get the heart rate up quicker. Woo! Keep it up, keep it up. Breathe and stop, halfway there, wait. Take a breath, arms up, let's go straddle. Out of thighs, boom. Keep that base knee soft, keep those elbows high. That gets harder with each round, I know. But you're stronger than you think. Fight through it, keep that excellent form. Woo, yes, last few seconds. Stop, weights down, we're almost there. Quick toes, three, two, one. Let's do it. Woo. Get that little pep in your step. If you're not awake yet, this will do it. Come on, stay light, six seconds, breathe. Three, two, one, stop. Final set of each. Final set of each. Breathe. Upright. Let's go. Woo! Heart rate's up now. But you've got, you've come this far. This is it for your Tabata sessions. We go to traditional head after this. So, each rep counts. Get a little lower. Make it a little bigger. Boom. And stop. Quick toes to finish. Quick toes to finish. Whew. Three, two, one, go. Okay, make this one better than the last three. Finish strong. Good job. You're doing so amazing. We get a drink after this. Get lower. Three, two, one, stop, you did it. Grab a good drink of water, we're on to block three. Here are your 
this for block number three. We're back to doing it hit style, 30 seconds on and a longer recovery of 20 seconds. Okay, so the first move we're gonna do is a lying down chest fly with crunches. So grab your heavier weights, take a seat on the edge and then carefully lie all the way back. Your whole body supported from your head down to your hips. Now, for your flies, we're actually gonna start with the arms down, palms face the ceiling, elbows bent, abs tight. We're gonna inhale and then exhale, extend those arms, add a crunch, high enough shoulder blades off the terror core, inhale down. Exhale up, inhale lower. Now, if you're not feeling that crunch, I want you to just focus on that chest fly movement. For all three blocks coming up, you're gonna have the same cardio move through each of them and you'll do it twice. So for this one, we're gonna do a roll back, um, a roll back jump up. So from here, you start on the seated, how you were. We're gonna roll back, feet are planted, come up, lift. Carefully go down slow and then pop and explode up, soft feet soften as we jump. If you're not feeling the jump, just go ahead and stand and continue that motion. So that'll be the one move for block number three. So for your next exercise, we're gonna stand up and grab your terracore and do some rows. Flip it over, dome side down. And we're gonna grab the short handles. So protect your back, bend the knees, pick it up. Okay, so with the knees bent, feet are a little bit closer together. Back stays flat. Inhale, hinge forward. Find your spot that you wanna stay in. And then we're gonna row up and down. Making sure to keep the tummy tight to support the lower back. If you ever need a back break, come up and take it. Or if that terror core is too heavy, the 20 pounds, use a pair of lighter dumbbells and do the same motion. After that, we'll go back to the roll up. And then for your last exercise, we're just gonna do a standing chest press standing on top of that terror core. So grabbing your lighter pair of weights or your moderate weights, stand on top, find your balance, shoulders relax, palms down, exhale, extend out and bring it in. And that's it. Let's get a position for that first move, the chest fly crunches. Grab your heavier set of weights and take a seat on the edge of that terra core. Once you're there, carefully lie down, making sure your head all the way down to your hips are supported. Remember for this one, palms face the ceiling, elbows bent, we exhale, fly, add a crunch, shoulder blades off the dome, and then back down. So when you're ready, engage the core, feet are flat, knees are bent, let's go. Exhale up, inhale down. Think about getting a good stretch in the arms on the way down. And when you crunch, exhale, lift, inhale, lower. High enough to the shoulder blades are lifted. <sighs> Breathe, nice full range of motion. Not feeling the crunch. Keep your head down, focus on the fly. Whew. Keep it up, keep it up, breathe. Yes. <sighs> and stop. Gently bring those weights down, put them off to the side. All right, we have that roll back into a standing jump. So you can stay seated here, take a breath or two for the next eight seconds. Whew, this one is gonna get the heart rate up. Ready? We're gonna go in five, four, three, two. Let's roll back first. Here we go. Inhale back, exhale pop, up and jump. Now go slow on the way back down so that you don't roll off that dome. There shouldn't be any pressure in the head or the neck or that lower back since we are fully supported. Woo. When you jump up, my soft feet, soft knees, heels on the ground. 10 seconds, get a couple more in. Up on deck, we're gonna do those standing rows. So grab that terra core. In three, two, one, and stop. Good, walk it out for a second, and then flip that terra core over. Remember, if this is too heavy for you, grab your pair of dumbbells instead. Okay, bend your knees to pick it up, protect your back. Remember to have good form here. So knees are bent, abs are tight, hinge forward. We're starting in three, two, one. Let's row. Now you're slowly bringing that platform up towards the navel or just above it. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Don't let that back round. You don't wanna have any pressure on that low back. Whew, halfway. Keep it up, keep it up. Squeeze, fully extend. Yes. Last few seconds here, and then we're back to that roll up. Whew. Three, two, one. Carefully set it down. Flip it back around. Roll up jumps are next. All right, so we did this already. You know it. I'm gonna start in that seated position. Whew, you ready? Five, four, three, two, and let's go. Roll back, come up, jump. 30 seconds. 
You know it. <sighs> Feeling good? Make it a bigger jump right here. Really elevate those legs. Whew. Down, back up lift. Soft knees, tummy's tight, and breathe. Find your pass midway. Stay there, stay there. You're doing amazing. One more exercise coming up, the standing chest presses. Three, two, one, stop. Whew. Grab your moderate weights. Then you're gonna stand on top of that terra core. Heart rate staying elevated, take a deep breath. Exhale through the mouth. Find your balance. Feet shoulders apart, knees bent, abs tight. Arms up, and let's go. Out, pull back. Full extensions with the arms. Core is tight, standing tall. Modification if you need to is alternating arms. Woo. Don't worry, we'll get a drink break after this and hit one more round. Core stabilization. We're on that dynamic surface. So definitely burning more calories standing here than if we were on the floor. Woo, finish strong. Yeah. And stop, awesome work. Grab a drink, we're on to set number two. We're on a set two of lock number three. Grab those heavier weights and take a seat on that terror core. Let's get in position for those chest fly crunches. So double check and make sure your entire body from your head down to your hips are supported. Woo, take a breath in and out. Feet are flat, knees bent, palms facing the ceiling, elbows bent. Okay, getting ready for that time to start. And begin. Exhale, crunch up, flies, inhale down. Engage the core, this is a core and upper body motion. Breathe, smooth and controlled, beautiful. Exhale, inhale down. Get a good stretch on that low end. Squeeze that chest, very nice. Up on deck, we have that roll back to a jump up. Woo. Very nice, and stop. Carefully come up, put those weights down to the side. You can stay seated down here if you like for your recovery. Okay, rolling back, kind of just like we were, coming up, jumping, soft knees, heels on the ground. We're gonna go in five, four, three, two, let's do it. Inhale back, exhale, pop up. Knees are soft, heels down. Looking up at that ceiling when you come back. So again, we're working more abs. Doing very similar to a full sit up. Woo, pop up. And that cardio element with the jump. Lift, halfway 15, let's go. Woo, up. Stay strong to the end. Good work, good work. Three, two, and one. Okay, walk it out. Rows are coming up. Decide if you're using your TerraCore or your weights. If you're with me on the TerraCore, flip it over. All right, bend those knees, core is tight. Jail and pick it up. Get in your position, hinge forward. We're starting in three. Two, one, let's go. Up and down. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Again, we don't want to have any strain on the lower back. So adjust the weight as you need to. If you ever need to take a back break, come up, take your break, go back down. Yes. Woo. Exhale, inhale. Come on, less than 10. One more set of roll ups coming up. You got it. Three. Two, one. Carefully set it down. Flip it over. Take a seat. Okay. It's starting at about 10 seconds. So take at least one breath in and out. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Ready? And let's go. Roll back. Come up. Roll back. Come up, yes. Woo. Fight strong all the way to the end. Tummy's tight, heart rate's up, it's your last cardio for this block. Beautiful. And then up on deck, we finish with standing chest presses, standing on top of that terror core. About five seconds, get one or two more. And stop. Woo, walk it out. I'm gonna go a little bit lighter on this one, but it's up to you. 
standing chest presses. With your weights, in 10, 10 seconds we start. Find your balance on the dome. Knees are soft, abs tight, palms down. Let's do it. Final move for block three. Woo. You're well over halfway through this workout. Great job, keep it up. Breathe. Exhale, inhale, try not to hunch through the shoulders. Full range of motion with those arms. Yes. You've got it, you've got it. Modify single arms if you need to. Four, three, two, and stop. You're done. Grab a drink, block four is coming up. Great job, you've made it over halfway through this workout. Here are your moves for block number four. Grab your moderate or heavy weights. We're doing a stationary Bulgarian lunge with hammer bicep curls. Starting in the front of your terror core, reach back with one toe, make sure you're in the center of that dome, and then hop that other foot out so that you're in a lunge position. Shoulders back, palms in. All we're gonna do is lunge down, perform your hammer curl, elbows tight, and then come right back up. Keeping the spine long and the abs engaged. We're gonna stand this side for the first set, and then alternate every time. For your cardio move, remember it's just one move per block, we're doing a version of burpees. Now for this burpee, we're gonna keep it dome side up so we're not moving the terror core too much. Placing our palms down, bend the knees, kick out, four mountain climbers, plant the toes, jump in, jump on top, stick the landing, jump down. Out, mountain climbers, jump in, jump up, jump down, and then repeat again. And then for your next exercise, we're going back to Bulgarian lunges, and then we're doing the other side with that same hammer curl. And then we'll perform another set of burpees. And then for your final move, we're gonna do a little core move and with down dog crunches. So now for this down dog crunch, it's more like a reach out, I guess. We're gonna have our toes on top of that terra core, start in a plank position, hands on the ground. The abs tight, you're gonna reach towards the opposite toe, come back down, and then go the other side. Repeat again. Core stabilization and working the abs. Grab your weights and let's get in position for those Bulgarian lunges with hammer curls. Standing in front of your terror core, reach one toe back, hop the other leg out. All right, palms are facing in. Remember, we're lunging with the hammer curls. And starting in five, four, three, two, let's do it. Slow and controlled, full body strength here. Abs are tight, spine is long, gaze is forward. Feel that nice stretch in the back leg. Drive through that front heel. Good, lift and lower. Adjust the weight as needed. If the heavy ones are too heavy, go with your moderate. Good, down and then up, breathe. Whew. Three, two, give me one more. Easiest way to get out of it, back foot comes up. Set it down. All right, burpees with the mountain climbers and the jump up and down are coming up. Now, if you can substitute all of the jumping for step ups instead. Okay, get ready, give me a light march. We're starting in three, two, one. Bend down, four mountain climbers. Jump in, stick the landing, jump down, knee soft, do it again. One, two, three, four. Definitely a heart pumping move here. Take your time with that jump up. Woo. Up, down, good. Keep the abs tight. Breathe. Almost there. All right, last one, good, and stop. Other side for your Bulgarian lunges. Grab those weights, hammer curls the same, but other leg for the lunge. So take your time, reach back. Get a position, hop that foot forward. Once you feel stable, palms in, elbows tight. In three, two, one. Let's do it, down and up. Now you wanna make sure also that that front knee is not passing the toe, right? Protect your knees, protect your joints, back knees bending, and keeping good posture throughout. Whew. Exhale, inhale, yes. Fight through all the way. Remember, we have one more set of burpees after this. Keep it up, keep it up. 
and stop. Back foot comes in. Okay, you know it's coming. Light march behind. We'll get ready for that time. Inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. All right, burpee, mountain climbers, jump ups. Ready, set, let's do it. Stand up, keeping the heart rate up. So yes, we have a longer recovery compared to Tabata, but it's still not enough time to fully recover. The point of hit, wanna keep the heart rate up. Whew. As best that we can, and we're working. Up, down, you've got it, you've got it. Breathe. You're doing so good. I know, heart rate high, and stop. You can walk it out. You don't need your weights for the next move. Down dog with the reaches. Okay, let's get in position. Start down, get into a high plank to start. Hands on the ground, toes on the terracore. Ready, set, reach. Hand towards opposite foot, engage the core. Pop those hips up just like you would in a downward facing dog in yoga. You're doing that tiny crunch. Whew. Every time you shift back, breathe. Great work. We do get a longer recovery after this. So make it count. Whew. Feeling it. And stop. Nice job. Grab a drink, set number two is coming. We're on to set number two of block four. We're back to those Bulgarian lunges with hammer curls. Grab your moderate or heavy dumbbells and get in position. Decide which side you wanna do. And then hop that other foot forward, shoulders back, palms in. All right, we're starting about eight seconds. So gain your composure, find your balance. Ready? In five, four, three, two, let's do it. Down and lift. Elbows are tight. Find your balance. Making sure that front knee does not pass the toe. And keep your gaze forward. Good. Slow and controlled. This is your strength move in this block. So no rushing. Exhale, inhale down. Woo! Yes. Fight strong to the end. Last couple seconds, let me get one or two more. And stop, back foot comes up. Put the weights down. Remember, we'll do the other side on this um, set after this one. Burpees, mountain climbers, jump up and down. I know, so much to think about. But you've got it, just get in that rhythm. All right, deep breath. Woo, you ready? Three, two, one, let's go. Bend the knees, drive those knees up to the chest. Jump up, stick the landing, and down. Woo. And not everyone will be perfect, and all mine aren't. So do the best you can. Heels are down. Perfect. So jumping that heart rate up, for sure on this. Woo. You got it, you got it. Last couple, and stop. Okay, Bulgarian lunges. Other side, pick up those weights. Woo. Reach back, now with that other toe right in the center. Half forward, get a position, palms in. Three, two, one. Let's go. I said earlier that short 20 second recovery is not long enough to fully recover. Heart rate's gonna stay elevated through all the strength moves. Whew. Yes, press to that front heel, keep the good form, and breathe. Good job. Down and up. Whew. Last set of lunges for today. And stop. One more round. Burpees, mountain climbers, jump up and down. Give me a light march, get those legs moving again. Deep breath, inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Okay, last round, make it good. And let's go. Bend down, one, two, three, four. Jump in, heels down. Stick it on top, jump down. Yes, knees are soft, core is tight. 
you're doing so great. Stay there. Come on, this is really your last big cardio burst in this routine. Because the last block, we're taking it down the ground. Woo. Good. Fight through it, fight through it. And stop. Woo. Walk it off for a few seconds. High plank position. Toes on top. Hands on the ground. Down dog reaches. Okay. So get in your position. Shoulders are stacked. In three, two, one. Reach towards that toe. If you can, tap the platform of that terracore. Tummy's tight, hips up, and then drop it down. Boom. Woo. This is gonna wrap up, block four. Keep it up, keep it up. Strong to the end. Yes. And let's stop. Woo, bring it in, grab a drink. Your final block is coming up. You've made it to your fifth and final block. It's all about the core in block number five. Okay, starting off, we're doing a set of plank rocks. I went ahead and flipped my terra core over, dome side down, with the handles facing up. So plank rocks, it might look familiar from previous workouts. So hands on the handles. We're gonna go on the toes, or if you need to modify, go on your knees. Wrists and shoulders are stacked, tummy's tight. All we're gonna do is hold the plank while we do a rock forward and back. The bigger the rock, the more challenging it is. So if that's too much, you can either stay stationary or shorten this range of motion. For your next exercise, flip it back over, dome side up, and we're gonna do a set of weighted cross, um, weighted crunches with a crossover. So either one moderate or heavy dumbbell, and then with this move, we're gonna take a seat, and I'm gonna go back, bring the arms up, inhale, exhale, bring it over to the outside part of the knee, bring it back center, other side. It's a big range of motion. Challenge it more by using a heavier weight. And then for your next exercise, there's three total exercises, we're gonna put the weight down and do a reverse leg press-ups. So this is also for core. So I'm gonna lie all the way down, making sure my hips to my head is supported, and then reach underneath, either having your hands around the platform, get a good grip, or around the dome. Once you're there, bring the legs up, feet are flexed. All we're gonna do is pop those heels up, bring it down, tightening the abs, feeling really deep in the core, and focusing on the balance. And then for your final move, we're gonna do a feel good lower back Superman. For this one, we are lying down prone, which is face down on that terracore. Arms extended, legs extended, head is down. Opposite arm, opposite leg lifts up and squeeze. And then reverse other direction. Let's get ready for that first exercise, the plank rocks. If you haven't done so already, flip your terraco over, down side down, and place your hands on top of the handles. Remember, the rock, the bigger it is, the more you're gonna work. If you need to modify it, do it on your knees or minimize that movement. Okay, we're starting in six seconds. So let's get in position, stack the shoulders and wrists, tummies tight, squeeze the glutes, and let's go. Rock forward, rock back. So that upper body is shifting with the arms, but the rest of your body staying as stationary as you can. Now, if you are modifying this, you can do the exact same motion on your knees, toes up, and keep that same rock and feel it in the core. So make this what it is, go slow. Whew. Good job, stay there. Three, two, one. Drop the knees if you're up, flip it over. Weighted crossover crunches are next. One moderate or heavy weight. When you're ready, we're gonna lie all the way down. Head all the way to the hip supported. Hold that weight horizontally. All right, bring it up. Three, two, one, and crossover. Lift, center back down. Exhale, reach, and lower. Make this what it is. It's really easy to intensify the move with the heavier dumbbell. Or if it's too much with the weight, do it without. Inhale, exhale up. Engage the core, working those rectus abs, working those obliques, Woo. and carefully down. Fantastic. Stay there, stay there. Breathe and stop. Weight comes down. All right, straight leg reverse crunches are coming up. 
So if you need to adjust your body, reach back, hands on the platform, get a grip wherever you need to. When you're ready, bring those legs up, find your balance, flex the feet in three, two, one, let's go. Pop up and down. And notice when I'm doing this, I'm not adding too much of an extra rock. It's really just straight up, straight down. Tummy's tight, <laughs> engage in the core, those transverse abs, and then just trying to get those hips off the dome and back down. Lift and lower. It's gonna feel a little unsteady, but that's okay. That's the challenging part. Woo. Up, down. Three, two, one, knees in, carefully lower. Super going to finish up this first set at block five. Go prone side down. Extend those arms and the legs. Remember, head, spine, and neck stays in neutral positioning. Starting in four, three, two, let's do it. Opposite arm, opposite leg, squeeze the glute, lower down. You worked so hard this entire workout. This is your nice feel good ending exercise. Lift and lower. Whew. Breathe. We get one more drink break recovery after this. Doing good. Three, two, one, and stop. Grab a drink, you're on to your final set. You've made it. We're on to your final set of block number five. All right, if you need to flip it over, dome side down, we have those plank rocks to kick it off. So this is it. Think of it as only two more full minutes left of work. Okay, kicking off those plank rocks, dome side down, hands in the handles. Remember, do your plank how you like, toes or knees. Get in position. We're going in three, two, one. Let's do it. Rock forward, rock back. Bigger the move, more you're working. And I know this is your final set. We've done a lot of exercises, done a lot of movements. If you're starting to fatigue out, I'd rather you modify the movement instead of trying to power through with that as great form. So there's your modification. Core is still tight. Woo! Yes. Come on, four seconds here. Three, two, one. Bring it down, flip it over, grab your weight. Weighted crossover crunches are up. Moderate or heavy, whatever you like. Whew. Starting at about 10. So if you're down already, take a breath in and out. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Bring the weights up. And let's do it. Rotate over. Center back down. Other side. Breathe. Whew. Yes. Get a good stretch on those arms. Come back. Over and down. Good job, good job. Come on over halfway. Finish strong. Only two more exercises after this. Make it a little bigger. Go. Up. Three, two, one, and stop. All right, place that weight down. Take another moment, catch your breath, and then lie all the way back down. Adjust your body as you need to. We're gonna bring those legs up for those reverse leg press-ups. Okay, find your balance. Bring the knees in, bring it up, and let's go. Lift and lower, flex the feet. And how good can you stay in the center of that terracore? It's a challenge in itself, right? <laughs> Woo, so we're burning more calories doing it this way than on the floor flat. Pop up and down, remember, minimize that rocking. Straight up, straight down. Breathe, tighten those abs. You've got it. Last ab movement. And stop, knees in, bring it down. Finishing with Superman's. Flip it over, prone side down. Woo, hard stuff is done. Feel good, lower back. All right, arms extended, legs extended. Take a breath, Whew. and let's go. Opposite arm, opposite leg, little squeeze, and this type of movement is just as important as everything else. You want a strong low back to support your abdominals. So make sure to do your lower back a few times a week. 
You don't need any weight. It's all body weight exercises. Whew. Lift. Come on, last few seconds. Three, two, one, and stop. You did it. Great work. You did such a great job on that workout. I know it's a hard one, but you made it, you're done. So let's finish off with a nice stretch. All right, great. right behind that terra core, we're gonna place our hands on top, bring your knees back, take a deep breath, inhale, and then exhale, sink back for a child's pose. Walk those fingertips away a little bit more, drop the head, wiggle the hips if it feels good. And then slowly take those deep breaths, inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. Letting the heart rate slowly come down. Inhale, breathe. Exhale out. Carefully round that spine. All right, going into a hands and knees position. Let's do a thread the needle stretch. One hand stays on top of the dome, other arm threads underneath. Dropping the head and shoulder, hips are staying up. Other hand stays on top of that dome. And then feeling that nice low back stretch, good. Breathe, inhale, exhale out. Nice and easy, bring it up, other side, other hand on top, thread underneath, dropping the head and shoulder, hips are staying up. And then bringing it up, hands staying on top of that dome, Okay, to get in position, we're going to engage the core, go into a bare plank where our knees are hovering, inhale, and then exhale, go into a down dog. Shake out the head, add some optional heel lift, stretching out the calves. Good. And then when you're ready, press both heels down. Inhale, round that spine to a high plank. And then we're gonna lift one leg up, pull the knee to the side, turn that foot in, and go into a pigeon. Your foot stays on the ground, Hands can stay elevated on top of that terra core. Or if you have the flexibility and it feels okay, place your forearms down, relax your head, keep that same pigeon pose. And just breathe. And feel that stretch all the way through the hips. Definitely hold these stretches longer if you need to than what we're doing in this video. From this position, we are going to transition. So keep the same pigeon legs, place the palms on top of the terra core, inhale and then exhale, push the dome away, lift the heart and chest, and give me those breaths in and out. Inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. One more here. Relax the elbows, let's release that front leg. So curl the back toe, lift the knee, pop that foot down, and we're gonna go into a little lunge stretch, kind of a lunge pigeon, dropping that knee down, pushing the hips forward, place this hand down, you can even open up this knee a little bit, look over the opposite shoulder. Good. And then once you're there, center it up, place the hands on top, release the leg, inhale, exhale back to your down dog. You can stay stationary, add those heel lifts, shake up the head, whatever you like. And then press both heels down. Inhale, round the spine, other leg, getting ready for the pigeon. Leg comes up, knee to the side, turn that foot in, and then slowly drop those hips. Take your time. If this is enough of a stretch, stay here. If you want a little more, forearms down, head rested. And just breathe. Good. Getting all that tightness out. Second option, palms face down on the terra core. Inhale, exhale, push it away, lift the heart and chest. And then relax those elbows, release that front leg. Take it down, pop that foot on the ground, drop that other knee. You can do your um, lizard stretch, staying here or wiggle it out a little more. Open up, look over the shoulder. And if you rotate it, go ahead and center up. Keep the knee down, 
Bring this leg back, go into a frogger pose where our knees are a little bit wider than what we had in child's pose. Inhale, sink back and stretch. Open up the hips and then slowly rock forward. Good, do it again. Do that maybe three or four times. Inhale back, exhale, come up. Beautiful, last two. And on your last one, you're just gonna hold it back, sink low, stretch out those lats, take one more breath in and out. Exhale and bring it all the way up. Great job today. Thank you so much for working out with me and I look forward to seeing you next time.